Hello friends, how are you doing today? So we started this uh, generative AI design pattern architecture pattern series a couple of weeks ago. And as part of that series, um, we got to know about uh, generative artificial network design pattern and retrieval augmented generation architecture pattern in the last video. I explained about how those uh, design patterns and architecture pattern works and where it is being used and how is it being used and how a uh, generative AI architect can get benefit out of these uh, design patterns and architecture patterns, right? So as part of that series, uh, we are going to talk about the uh, React architecture pattern in this video. And if you have not watched that first video, I have given the link in the description below, you can go and watch. So coming back to this React architecture uh, pattern, what exactly is React architecture pattern? So if you go and uh, search about React, you will get uh, all the React JS details in the uh, internet. So first, um, if you want to know more about uh, React architecture pattern, search with reasoning and acting generative AI architecture pattern. So you can get a lot of information about uh, this uh, architecture pattern. So here, I wanted to give you a clear detail about how this React architecture pattern works. And if you are building a large language model, how you can adopt this architecture pattern to build your model so that this architecture pattern will work as expected so that you can complete the task as you planned. So let's go to the presentations. So what exactly is React architecture? React architecture is combination of reasoning and acting. Reasoning is nothing but chain of thoughts and acting is nothing but acting on those tasks to complete the task. For example, if you take a real-time um, example of, uh, if you want to know more about finding out a home for you to buy, what you do, you think what are all the steps need to be done, right? First, you check your bank balance and you check whether you have the ability to buy the home. And what you will do, you will go and explore the location, which location is best for your kids schooling and your office and commutation all those things you will list it out and once after listing all the tasks and you will start acting on those tasks to buy your home right so these are all the manual way of uh, achieving the task of buying a home uh, if you take a retail company example for example if you are um, going to a retail company and purchasing a product of it that you like and you come back home and you open the product and you see that it is damaged and you would like to return that product and normally what are all the steps to return the product you first take the picture of the product and make sure that it is damaged and uh, you can uh, go to the store and talk to the store representative a this product is damaged, I wanted to return this product. And that uh, store representative will start explaining about the processes like uh, show your receipt and uh, give the order number, your first name, last name, and also your um, product. So everything you have to uh, list it out as um, the task list one by one. And then you return the product to the store associates and you come back home or if you want to get the, a new product or you wanted to get the refund back, you get everything and come back home. This is the manual way of completing the tasks. So here also, reasoning and acting involved. Reasoning means these are all the steps to what we talked about. And acting means finally returning the product to the store associates and uh, you come back home with your refund. Um, but it takes a lot of time, effort, everything, right? That's where we bring in generative AI to ease this task. So generative AI architecture uh, pattern, React architecture pattern will help you to do these particular um, uh, activities that you have done manually, will be done with the help of this generative AI architecture pattern. And where or not it's being used, it can be used in anywhere, whether it's a retail company or telecom company or banking services company, insurance company, anywhere this um, React architecture pattern can be used. So only thing is uh, when you adopt the large language model, make sure that that large language model has been built with the React architecture, reasoning and acting architecture, so that uh, you can use that large language model for achieving these type of tasks in your real time. So how the architecture looks like. So if you look at this architecture diagram or flow diagram, uh, if you take the same example where 
as a customer, you go to retail company and purchase a product. And once after purchasing the product, you came to know that it is damaged. And what you will do, you go to the customer's customer portal of that um, retail company and you log in with your credentials and start with chatbot, uh, right? You start inputting the details like, uh, hey, I purchased this uh, uh, particular product and uh, I, it is damaged and I wanted to return. So the chatbot will ask the basic questions and uh, it will communicate to the large language model in the back end. And the large language model will have the generative API layer that will connect with different data sources in the organization. So basically, when you start with the question, I want to return this product, the chatbot, um, the large language model will return you a question like what type of the product it is. And uh, once you say that uh, this is um, the laptop that I purchased, I wanted to return. So what you will do, you will um, input the laptop details and it will ask uh, what is the order number. And uh, once after entering the order number, it will ask uh, whether uh, who is the customer, is the first, what is the first name and last name, phone number, everything will be asked by the LLM. So how the LLM will ask all these tasks, it will talk to the AP layer and the API will talk to the data sources in the organization and it retrieves the associated tasks with the product or order number. So in this case, uh, the, when the customer gives the order number, the large language model will take the order number and pass us to the API layer and the API will talk to the database or repository of information and pull the details about the order. And also, once after retrieving the order details, large language model think like a human and it will go and pull the next steps for completing this task. Since this is a returning process, what this large language model will do, it will go and collect all the tasks associated with returning process. And it will list the task one by one. First, you must take the picture of this product. And second, you must start the returning process online. And third, you will get the label generated by the system. And fourth, print the label and then pack the product and stick the label on the product and go to the nearby uh, USPS and deliver it out so that your return will be completed. Once the company receives the product, they will start refunding your money. So this is the process of returning a product to um, a company where you purchased the product from. And when it comes to this type of large language model, you can provide the best experience to your customer um, with the right large language model that has been implemented with React architecture. So this is how reasoning and acting architecture works. So what are all the benefits of uh, reasoning and acting architecture? So if you just have a plain large language model, wherein if the customer asks the question, the large language model will give you the uh, response or give the response to the customer. And uh, it will be a kind of conversational uh, chatbot type of thing. Or if you, your LLM has been uh, built with instruct uh, architecture, it is going to instruct only like uh, what is the um, language that is being used for and what exactly uh, the geography and history of uh, this world. So it's all going to give you in the instruct way or teaching way. But in this case, large language model that has been built with reasoning and acting architecture will not only ask the question, not only instruct, but also it will give the list of tasks to the user of this LLM. And uh, also it will give the complete output how these tasks can be executed one by one so that the process is complete for the customer or user of this large language model. So I hope uh, you might have got to know about how this reasoning and acting architecture work and how it has been used in companies like retail company, insurance company, or banking services company. And also you can implement this model by your own if you are building your large language model or you can explore the large language models built with reasoning and acting architecture 
and produced by the large companies like IBM, AWS, Azure, or Google. You can go and explore these large language models built with reasoning and acting architecture. And uh, as part of this uh, design pattern, architecture pattern series, we are going to see about uh, next architecture pattern in the next video. And if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it to your friends so that they will also get benefit out of it. Take care. Bye.